Driving from Toronto to California takes about 40 hours. Trucker Morris Bellis drove the route for years. But in 2009, his sister and mother died just months apart. His father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Bellis says his quiet cab began to feel like a prison. I think it was more emptiness. It's being alone, empty. You can talk to so many people, but most of them won't understand. You know, maybe give you a pat on the shoulder and, and say, you know, keep going. All you can do is keep going. Bellis didn't want to keep going. He found himself lying on his couch, thinking about his kids. How can I get out of this? Without he pushed himself to get up and go for support. a short bike ride, never imagining three years later that would be him, zipping around, pedaling through his depression. It changes your body. It changes something. I don't, I'm not a doctor, but it's, there's something. Depression. David Goldblum son. is a doctor. We don't really know why exercise reduces the risk for episodes of depression. He says there's evidence to show exercise can help people enduring mild to moderate depression. It can also be preventative. Based on nearly 50 large studies, international researchers say, regardless of age or where in the world you live, 150 minutes of exercise a week helps protect people against depression later in life. Anything from running and swimming to brisk walking or even dancing. This is not a speedy muffler guarantee. This is about reducing the risk for depression, but it's not about eliminating the risk for depression. Goldblum insists parents and school boards should take heed. The first signs of mental illness tend to manifest during the teen years. The irony to me is that physical exercise and physical education seems to have become de-emphasized in secondary and post-secondary education compared to generations ago. Bellis knows depression can be draining. He says whether it's five seconds or five minutes of exercise, anything is better than nothing. So right now, it's, it's freedom right now, and after a long day of eight hours... It's his time to live in the moment. Christine Birak, CBC News, Vaughan, Ontario.